No, one of the people we ask to catch old memories of Lux is Vance Williams, who drove a truck for uh, Lux for years. And I think maybe he was the second employee, but he was, uh, he was the son-in-law of Alfred Spencer. And he worked here for years and years. And sometimes when we try to remember a name or an event, we just ask Vance, mm -hmm. his memory's great. My, I have a, a great grandfather was uh, one of the Coles in Coles Pottery. And he would talk about at times about when they shipped pottery, it was done via the train mm -hmm. uh -huh. and wooden barrels. With, and they packed the uh, pieces of pottery in, in the barrels and with straw or hay. The, the Gollyhorn Springs and the uh, page toll, old Page Toll House, which is, as I say, has been torn down since, uh, were two of the areas that uh, every Sunday afternoon, the whole family went to the spring with buckets and brought back water, and it was for washing clothes on Monday. You talked about uh, Bascom Craven was just a, a gentleman who lived a couple of miles out from the center of Seagrove, and he uh, he just had an interesting life. His his granddaughter just put a picture on Facebook of him on a 1922 Harley Davidson. This is a picture made in Lux Cannery about 1950, and this is. I don't understand the canning process, but this is the retort. Of course, Lux Cannery was Mountain View Cannery. This is probably after they changed their name. They changed the name when they started canning pinto beans. We actually had a, one of these machines, but this is inside the plant at that time. We've got several really good pictures. One of the things we're trying to do is gather photo old photographs and we have several photographs made in Lux Cannery when uh, it was first started. A lot of the photographs came about the time they started really advertising, and George Perry, who was also known as the Old Rebel and worked for Channel 2 Television, came down here to talk to, uh, when he talked to Alfred Spencer about advertising, and they bought their first advertisement on TV, and uh, George Perry toured Lux Cannery at that time, and a lot of pictures were made of him with workers here.